Hello, it's Joe, and welcome to another Minecraft survival video. As you can see, I built the skull behind me for the entrance to my skeleton spawner. I think it looks pretty decent. Um, there's a bunch of creeper holes around, so it looks a bit messy. But other than that, like if I like fill them in and clean it up, it'll look. I think it'll look good. It's much better than just having two holes in the ground to show the entrance and exit. As you can see, there's a bit of, like, the bone block and black concrete doesn't, like, go all the way down. It just ends there. I don't know if I want to go all the way down or not. I don't plan on doing it yet or, like, right now. So, this is what I got. The, the boy's hollow, so I might put something inside of him. Like, I might just, like, take the bones and stuff, bring them up into, like, a bunch of chests that are up here, so that if I'm ever in need of bones, I could just pop in here and take those bones. So I'm planning on starting to build my storage room soon. This is where it's gonna be. And for that, I'm gonna need a lot of chests. And a lot of chests means I need a lot of wood. And wood is quite tedious to get. You know, you gotta grow the trees, and then chop them down, wait for the saplings to drop, and then plant it down again, and wait for it to grow, and you just do that over and over again. And I don't want to do that, because it's boring. I don't like that. So I'm gonna make a way to get them automatically. But before I do that, I ran out of ender pearls, so let me just restock. Look at that. Perfect stack. And it's done. Or well, at least just the first part. This is the part that will break the blocks for me. This is what's called a TNT blast chamber. And up top over there, if I can look at it, or if I can get a good angle to look at it, is a TNT duper, which will drop some TNT down every so often blowing up all the blocks which I have stored in here and then they'll all go down into this little pool down here where I have my chests. I'm gonna remove this water at some point and probably add more chests if, because if I want like a lot of wood or concrete I can use that and yes this also can do concrete put it into the input feed and then just you know and it's much better than sitting there just replacing and breaking concrete for like ages this is much faster so if I ever need a lot of concrete at once so for like my slime farm when I do the walls or any other big builds I want to do I have this to get the grindy stuff for me as I said this is only the first part next I'll need to build the place where the trees are grown so let's get into that right now
I'm pretty much uh, just about done with the tree farm blast boomer thing. This is it. Look at them. Two giant monstrosities right next to each other. Um, I'm gonna need to build like something to get inside of it. I don't know if this is the best thing, but this is temporary. So yeah, this is it. Looks crazy. Before we start using it, there's one thing I'm gonna need, and that's bones. Lots of bones. So I put a shulker box worth of bone meal or bones into this farm and we're ready to start running it. So the logs will be coming in from up there and will be making their way over here into this thing and then that's where the magic happens. So let's get started. I was AFKing for about 45 minutes and look I got a full basically a full double chest of birch logs and then like a hopper and a few um, oak logs. I already took a stack and made like a bunch of chests out of it so I had an, another extra stack of wood than I have in there. Let me get out of here. I also got a lot of sticks and saplings and apples from that. I don't know what to do with those. I'm probably going to put the saplings into the composter and then sticks. I'm just going to do sticky stuff with them. So I'm going to do one last thing before the end of the episode. As you can see, I have put my second beacon in. It's a jump boost beacon. Um, what I'm gonna do, look I started planning out the storage room a little, I'm probably gonna work on that next episode. Oh, I should have some, get some concrete. I have some in my, in here. No? I thought I did. <laughs> well I have a bunch in this shulker box, so let me take that. That's not my shulker box. This is my shulker box. There. I'm very, very organized. Right, so I'm gonna go down two blocks with this concrete, and then I'm gonna go over into the center, basically, with this glass. Is this the center block? Yes, it is. I don't want the block in the center, because that's where I'm gonna put the um, end stone, and then on top of this end stone, I'm gonna put a chorus fruit. You can see I set up my thing for all my six beacons down there. That's how I'm going to have them arranged. And so what I'm doing with this chorus fruit is I want it to be like some alien plant inside of my my base, right? Like we found some like f some alien plant and then we just took it here and planted it in the middle of my base. I think that'll look cool. And what I'm gonna do here in the middle is I'm gonna put this white stained glass but I'm gonna like put it all the way down to like the bottom or like deep into this hole and I'm gonna put one uh, block of space in between them and that'll create like a nice fade effect or like a fog effect and if you have enough of it it looks like really good so it's gonna be like eventually it's gonna be like this chorus fruit is just like floating in the fog Maybe I'll just have the piece of land, like, like it's a spire that's in the middle of the fog and it's on this spire. That might look cool. So I don't know what I'm going to do around the beacon beams because if I have this white glass, it'll make the beams white. Oh, you're a bit tall already. And I want to have, I want to create a system that will or change so I can so I'm gonna have a control room here 
I can change the color of each of the beacons, and then I can also change the... switch it on and off, or I could, uh, well yeah, basically that's it, just change the color and switch it on and off. And with the white glass here, it's going to be interfering with the color of the beacon. So I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with that in like, oh, on that part. Actually, let me come down here. There's a big hole down here. I've been just like clearing it out, collecting cobblestone and like stone and different ores down, down here. I've, well, I've just been leaving them down here. Um, I've been mainly looking for redstone and diamonds. And I have found a bunch of redstone, so that really helped me with this project. Um, Ender Pearl. Yeah, I'm gonna have to create a way to get down here before I like fill that with glass so that I can actually get down here. And then I'm gonna have to somehow put lighting over here. Like, nothing's gonna spawn on here. But if I had it like, if I had lighting, right, it would have a glowing effect and that glow, I think that glow would really work really well with this fog. But I don't know how, how that would work. So I have a lot of like planning and planning to do with the build, I'm, like the center of my base. As you can see, I have some, some steak. Tasty, tasty. That'll be it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Um, I tried something new this time with the time lapses and like the music. I think it was, I think it worked out well. I, I liked it. I had fun making it. Um, if you liked it, leave a like and also let me know that I did a good job. Pat me on the, give me a pat on the back. And I'll know to keep making it. Um, I'm not gonna do it like all the time because it was a lot of work. And yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.